The bus stop and bike lanes on Dexter Avenue are busy. They're right outside South Lake Union's Anchor Flats. It's a new affordable housing property that had to pay for an expensive amenity. We would not have built parking in this building. But the nonprofit developer Bellwether Housing did not have a choice. Before Monday's vote, developers on this side of the street did not have to build parking. But developers on this side of the street did. And it cost this nonprofit one and a half million dollars. It's about $50,000 a stall. Yep, that one block difference really added up. That million and a half dollars could have gone to build units in another location to build more units. So that's why it matters. Bellwether CEO Susan Boyd says there will be 15 spots inside. So we're standing in the garage of Anchor Flats. 15 outside. She's not sure how many of the 72 tenants will actually use them. On the flip side, just because developers don't have to build parking doesn't mean they won't says Ava Talbot of B plus H Architects. It's still being built. Just not as many as they used to. The city estimates there's 0.6 parking spots for every tenant in new buildings. It's considered by the design and development team from really um, the first day. Talbot says parking is a focus because it gets neighbors worried. They are building their projects in these recently upzoned areas where maybe you're surrounded by single family homes and the street just doesn't have capacity to accommodate the cars that will come on with a new project. Back at Anchor Flats, Bellwether's in a tough spot as they figure out what to do with all these spots. All of us have to figure out how to live uh, less and less with our cars. In Seattle, I'm Ryan Takei, King 5 News.